Hey, what the fuck is up you guys? Okay, my name is Georgie Grimm. Welcome back to my channel, y'all. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. How are we all doing? Life has been insane recently with the coronavirus and with Black Lives Matter happening. Holy shit. What the fuck, y'all? Life's been insane. Oh my God. Let me just talk about it. All right, before we get into it, I just want to shout out a couple of people in my life who've been absolutely amazing, who've been really helping me get through this time of like quarantine and like stress and depression and anxiety. And those people are Anthony Gregory Mintz, my best friend in the whole entire fucking world. That man is literally amazing. I love him so fucking much. I'm so blessed and grateful to have him as my best friend and confidant. He is amazing, truly incredible. I love you, Tony. You are everything to me. My family, first off, thank you so much for putting up with my bullshit. Y'all are amazing. I know I've been crazy recently. I'm really sorry about it. We're getting through this together and it's okay. So thank you for being there for me, family. I love you guys. And lastly, my therapist. What a woman. She truly gets me. You know, she just she just understands me. She knows who I am and I just I I cherish her. She's an amazing person and I'm so grateful to have her as my therapist. Thank you all of you people who've been keeping me sane. Y'all are amazing. Y'all deserve a fucking award because I am insane as a person and I know that I am. I know that I'm a lot to deal with. So thank you guys. Y'all are amazing and thanks for sticking with me. So let's get into it. First, where the fuck have I been? Well, let me just tell you guys. I've been off the grid. Okay, not technically off the grid. I've been on social media still. And if any of you guys follow me on any other social media, which I highly suggest if you still wanna see my face present in the living day of life, then go follow me on other social media, especially TikTok. I literally upload there daily. If you're not following me there, then what the fuck are you doing, you guys? Come on, go follow me on TikTok. I've been kind of trying to step back from social media a lot just because I feel very overwhelmed and very unrestful because of it. I feel like I've been very bombarded with a lot of information in terms of like the pandemic and Black Lives Matter. It's just, it's a lot of stuff to just take in. So I've been doing a lot of like self reflection and I've been doing a lot of soul searching and I've been doing a lot of mindfulness and I've been doing a lot of just coming back to myself and realizing that I don't always need to be on the internet. I don't always need to be present on the internet. In fact, it's better if I'm not sometimes like i just i need to step back i need to pull back a little bit and i feel like that's been doing a lot of good for me but then there's a lot of aspects of my life that i really have been avoiding and i think youtube is definitely one of them because i'm kind of afraid you know i've been i've been a little bit hesitant about what i want to post on this channel now because i've been really changing the way of things on my tiktok and i just kind of want to translate that over to my youtube channel but i haven't really been sure how to do that so i've been kind of holding back a lot i've been really just kind of trying to push it off for as long as possible. But I also realized that doesn't always work. And right now is one of those times. So we're just gonna give you guys like a quick life update basically. Uh, that's kind of just what this is, is it, it's a life update of what's going on in Georgie's life because for those of you who don't know, I moved back home from college at the beginning of my spring quarter, which did start in April. So I've been home for about like three or four months at this point. I did come home during my spring break and I moved all my stuff back in. And I've like rearranged my room like 16 different times because I really didn't like the way that it looks so it's like not like necessarily revamped in terms of furniture because it's all the same furniture as you can tell but i like redecorated and i made everything look prettier and just more simple i like the simplicity of things and i realized that there was a lot of clutter in my room as well as there being a lot of clutter in my life and so i just decided to get rid of the clutter in my life and get rid of the clutter in my room and through doing that i feel so much better and i feel so much more whole and alive i think i'm coming to a point in my life where I'm really starting to come into myself and realize who I am as a person and what I want from the world and what I want from myself as a creator and as an artist as well. And I'm a recent college graduate, you guys. Holy shit. I graduated college. Can we just say, go Georgie. Holy shit, I didn't think I was gonna get here. What the fuck? 
Also, it's June, which means that it's Pride Month. So happy Pride for all my gays out there. I love you guys. Y'all are beautiful, amazing, and seen. I fucking see you. And you best believe that I know that you're my section. And I love you. And you best believe that I fucking see you. all of you beautiful ass motherfuckers out there. Trans, gay, bi, lesbian, queer, whoever the fuck you are, I don't care. I love you and I see you. And you are amazing. So fucking celebrate yourselves. Celebrate Pride Month. Celebrate it despite the fact that we are going through a global pandemic right now. Celebrate the fact that the world is currently at a civil unrest right now. Celebrate despite the fact that you may not be completely out of the closet. Celebrate if you're completely out and you've been out for years. Celebrate it in whatever way you feel comfortable because I love you and I see you. And I want you to know that you're fucking amazing, that you're beautiful, and that you can take all of the time in the world that you need to, to come out. You don't need to come out right now. You don't need to come out because it's Pride Month. You can be okay in who you are as a person. It's okay. If it's not safe for you to come out, then do not come out. If it's not safe for you to come out for a while, then don't come out. But if you've come out to yourself, then celebrate that within your heart. But if you're still coming to terms with it, take your time. It's okay. It took me a really long time to get to the point where I am now. And it's still taking me a while to get fully there. You know what I mean? It's okay. You can take your time. Nobody's gonna rush you. And if anybody is, then fucking get them out of your life, man. They're toxic for you. Don't fucking let them tell you what to do or how to come out or who to be. That's fucked up, yo. You don't need that in your fucking life, all right? You're beautiful, you're seen, I hear you, and I fucking see you. I love you guys, okay? Just wanna put that out there, all right? We've been dealing with a lot. There's been a lot of unrest. There's been a lot of like shit that's been happening. But we cannot control as a society, as a person, as a world. We can't fucking control this shit, okay? Let's be real. Black lives fucking matter. And we have to remember that. And we have to promote that, okay? And I just wanna talk about something really quickly here. So as somebody who's been watching the news a lot and just like, you know, really trying to educate myself on what's been happening and how to help and who to help, I've been noticing a lot of stuff that's been really coming to the surface. And one of the biggest things that I've been realizing is that despite the fact that you are going out there to protest, which I highly recommend and I highly support, you gotta take time for yourself. You gotta take a break. You gotta take a pause. Just come back to yourself and remember why you're doing what you're doing. And remember why you're fighting for what you're fighting for. I understand that it's important to get out there and to go protest and to stand up for what you believe in, to fight for what you believe in. But holy shit, y'all. Sometimes we just need a fucking break. And I'm gonna be the first person to say that y'all should turn off social media for like at least a week. It's like one of those things where if you don't, then you're going to hit that fatigue that everybody's been talking about with all of this. It's a very real thing and it's very, very, very hard to get out of once you hit it. I mean, trust me, I've even hit it at a point where I'm just like, I, I cannot watch the news anymore. I can't fucking listen to the news. I can't even like see stuff on the internet anymore. I've hit a point where I'm just so exhausted by it. It's the same thing over and over and over again. And I'm like, holy motherfucker, dude. Holy motherfucker. When is it gonna be enough? When is it gonna be too much? I don't know. I don't know. And I think that the biggest challenge of all of this is really trying to find that space within your own life. Come to a point where you do feel like you can be peaceful within yourself, where you can be peaceful within your own mind. People are saying that if you're not angry, then you don't care. That's not true. I think the biggest reality check of all of this is realizing that if you are angry, good. Put that anger somewhere that is productive, but don't just sit within that anger. Don't just let it ruminate within you because if you do, only negativity is going to come out of that. And that is exactly the opposite of what we need in this situation. We need positivity, we need change, we need peace. More than anything in this world right now, we don't need any more war, we don't need any more violence, we don't need any more riots, we don't need any of that destruction. That is exactly the opposite of what we need right now. Oh my goodness. 
And that is exactly what the president wants us to do. He wants us to be fighting against each other. He wants us to be creating another war. He wants us against each other at arm's ends because that is exactly what he's been promoting for all these fucking years that he's been in office for. So the thing that we need to do is to come together as a people, as a nation, as a world, and understand the circumstances that we are currently living within right now in this world. We are still living through a global pandemic. We do not have a vaccine for this sickness yet. Do you guys understand and realize that? And if you are going out to go protest, please, for the love of God, wear your fucking face mask, please. That is the least that you can do for yourself and for others. If you're going out there, to go and protest, to go stand up for what you believe in, but you are not protecting yourself or others from the current illness that is going around, that is killing thousands of people that does not have a vaccine for or a cure for yet. And you're infecting others by not wearing your face mask, by doing a simple task of covering your face and nose. If you're not doing that, why are you even out there at the protests? if you're not protecting yourself or others from the current pandemic. Dude, yo, I don't fucking know, man. I don't fucking know. So by all means, go out there and go protest, but wear your fucking face mask, bitches. I'm frustrated. I think that the thing that we need to realize and understand about everything is that we have to take care of each other. You know, we have to take care of each other. We have to remember why we're doing what we're doing, why we're fighting for what we're fighting for. And educate yourselves, okay? Educate yourselves as much as possible. I will be leaving links down below in the description box of places where you can donate to Black Lives Matter charities, places where you can educate yourselves further on Black Lives Matter issues. And just please do yourselves a favor and remember the fact that we are living through a global pandemic, okay? I think it's important to take a break from everything that's happening in the world. And I think it's important to educate yourselves and to celebrate who you are as a person during Pride Month. I think it's important to do all of those things. And it's okay to do all of those things. It's okay to take a break. It's okay to celebrate Pride Month. Not everything needs to be focused and centralized on one specific issue. You can take time for yourself. You can appreciate yourself. You can appreciate what you've done, okay? You are allowed to congratulate yourself for the work that you you've done in terms of who you are as a person and what you've done to help Black Lives Matter and whatever the fuck it is, you can do that. You can congratulate yourself because if you sit there in the unrest, in the distress, in the anger, in the frustration, all that does is promote negativity. All that does is promote anger and frustration and distress. And that is not what we need in this world. That is not what we need, okay? Y'all, we need peace. And I've been really realizing that what I want for from myself is to really stand up for what I believe in. To stand up for those who do not have a voice, to stand up for those who cannot speak out about these issues because of the danger that they may face, of the anxiety that they may face. I need to stand up for those who cannot stand up for themselves. But I also need to promote peace happiness. Love yourselves. Appreciate who you are. For God's sakes, y'all, fucking promote happiness, okay? Recently, I've been watching some shows um, that have been really fascinating, just like from all across the board. I've been watching like Pose, which is an amazing LGBTQ black show about ball culture in the 1980s. It's on Netflix. It's a show that was produced by FX. If you don't know it, go watch it. Billy Porter is in it. He's amazing. It is the largest black queer transgender cast in the entire history of Hollywood. I will link it down below. Educate yourselves, y'all. Educate yourselves. Go watch the 13th on Netflix. Go watch Dear White People on Netflix. There's a lot of other stuff that you can go watch. Do the thing that is going to help the black community the most and consume black media. Integrate it into your life. Integrate it. You don't need to make it all of it, but you can integrate it. That's what I've been doing recently. I've been integrating more and more African-American media and promoting black artists into my life. I've been just trying to fucking get through everything. Um, I've been working out a lot more recently. I've been you know, making TikTok videos, so please go follow me on TikTok. Please go follow me on TikTok. I've got like almost 800 followers. I've been talking to a lot of friends on Zoom, over the phone, over FaceTime. I've been texting a lot of people. I've been quarantining. And that is the tea on my life. Oh, and by the way, for all of y'all who don't fucking know, I found an apartment in LA for only 
1k a month and it is right by Runyon Canyon and it's only a few blocks away from Hollywood Boulevard. Bitch, are you for real? I'm gonna move there, okay? I found my place where I'm gonna live. So my life is actually moving. I just need to get a job. That's the only thing I need to do right now is get a job. So there you have it, y'all. This is the tea on my life. And if y'all wanna share your tea on your lives, please feel free to drop your story down below in the comment section. And I will catch you guys next week. Okay, thanks. Bye.